Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Grapes of Wrath interviews, starring Tom Jode and Ma Jode. Yeehaw! Welcome, everyone. Here with me live is Mr. Tom Jode. Hello, Tom. So. Tom, if you don't mind, I would like to ask you a few questions. Is this all right? It's all good. All right, so I've recently heard about your incarceration. How has this affected you in any way? Well, you know, uh, when I went to prison, like, it changed my whole outlook on life because time is really of the essence, and you realize that when you're restricted to being in one place for a very long time so I live for the moment now and try to make it like what it what it could be and as good as it can be so what happened when you got home from prison Tom well I got I got back and um, I saw my fam they, they was packing up like they was ready to go so like it was really confusing for me. I didn't, I didn't know what was really going on at the time. What did they tell you was happening, Tom? Well, they said, like, in the Dust Bowl, like, the, the crops got wiped out, and they was forced to, like, move from the farm and go look for work. So you decided to go with them? Yeah, I mean, that's my fam, so, like, they're really all I got. <clears throat> And I heard that, like, work was in California, so, like, we packed up and we started to head over there. So, how was your journey to California? Um, it was rough, you know, but, like, it's something that, you got, that we, we went through, and I think it, it, it's made us a better person for that. So, I heard you lost a few of your family members, Tom. <laughs> Yeah, man. I did. I lost. I lost my my grandpa, and I lost my grandma. Both. Both, man. Like for that, real. Man, that must be tough for you. Yeah, man. It was real tough. You know what I'm saying? Like, like. <laughs> I don't even know what to do anymore. I'm sorry for your loss, Tom. I'm sorry, it's okay. All right, moving on. Um, how is your stay? <laughs> Tom, I'm sorry. It's, but we we uh, cool. we have to move on right now. It's all right. Is, is that all right? We're good. All right. So, how is your stay in California, Tom? Man, that was hard stuff man like we ain't even know what was good in california until like we got there and it wasn't like we <laughs> like we wanted it to be so how how were the job opportunities man there was none slim to none like we thought we was just gonna hop in and get get a job and get hired right quick start making money but that's really not what happened what about the people in uh in California, they treat you nicely? No, man, they treat us like like we were dirt, like animals. It's crazy how inhumane people can be to their own fellow man. So, um, I heard you had another loss in California. You, uh, Jim Casey? Oh how yeah, man, the, ho the homie, man, he died, man, and like, I, I took out the dude that, that, that killed him and all, but like, that's it. So, what happened after Jim Casey died? I mean, man, I, w I was like, I was running, so like, I was wanted. So, I made the choice to, to leave the family so they wouldn't have to deal with my problems and, and all that. All right, I see. That's, that's very noble of you, Tom. Thank you for your time, sir. No problem, man.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with Ma Jode, and please give her a warm welcome. Hi, y'all. Hello, Ma. Hello, sir. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you, sir. Well, I'm gonna have to ask you a few questions if that's quite all right. Oh, that's fine with me. Well, that's just dandy. Let's get right into it then, shall we? We shall. I, uh, I see here that you've recently taken a trip to California. Is that true? Yes, sir. It's one of the hardest, hardest things I've ever gone through in my life. I mean, me and my family, we went through some struggles. Um, but in the end, you know, we, we got through everything. You know, lost a few family members, lost a few uh, close friends, you know. But um, we got through it, sir. Well, I see, and uh, it seems that you can learn a lot from this trip, and uh, if you'd like to discuss some of the morals associated with such a journey. Uh, can you clarify for me, sir? What do you mean, morals, sir? I mean, what did you learn from going on quite an adventure? Well, I learned that, um, that family is really all you got. They've all, that's all you got to support you. You know, I mean, um, you know, someone has to step up in the family and take order. And um, that had to be me. I, um, I believe there would be a lot of courage involved in that. Yes, sir, you could call it that. So, Ma, what exactly was your role prior, during, and after this trip? You know, like any other woman's, you know, domestic duties, taking care of my family, you know, um, cooking the food, I mean, but throughout the throughout our journey, you know, I sort of took the lead. I led the family, and um, the men Really, really didn't have any problem with that. I was the leader of that family. I understand. Well, uh, Ma, thank you for your time, and uh, we hope to see you back soon. Thank you, sir.